Currently we're at Gooch Gap and we're heading to Woods Hole Shelter. Just a little overcast and misty. Today is Wednesday, 11 January. Yeah, and what is this called again? <coughs> Pulpit rock. It's Bridger's rock. <coughs> <coughs> mm. Sorry guys, can't see nothing, but Bridger's rock. Came from down there, a big mountain. Okay.
camping site. I think this is Lance Creek Camp. Jeff is collecting water from this uh, little spring. This is the closest water source from where is it now the shelter again? Woods Hole Woods shelter. Hole. We have been walking for two hours in the dark because we started late from Gooch Gap and we hiked 11.2 miles I think so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and find the uh, the shelter. It's a little dark, so I can't film. Storage box. That looks pretty mouse secure too. Oh, that's good. Hopefully, it will be. Shelter. Previous. Over there, I guess. Where is this invisible shelter? There. Right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Got a little bit of wind blowing, so I don't think we're going to have to worry about too much of this. You can use your head next time, Okay. shelter hopefully no mice good morning it's Thursday January 12 we are at Woods Hole shelter we got here around 8 30 last night and there was a lot of rain last night it's still very misty this morning but we stayed here again no one's here i think that is the advantage of hiking in the winter time not many people are hiking yet but everything we have is wet it was so misty so this is what the shelter looks like Bye. Our sleeping bags, all our clothes there. It's all wet. The stuff in the pods isn't wet. Where? In our pods, that's not wet. Yeah. But I woke up early this morning and I felt my sleeping bag all wet. So that is not good. I don't know if you can see, probably not, but we yeah, have this plastic hair and it's just wet wet so that is our situation today okay guys so we wanted to show you the inside of this bear back bear box at woods hole shelter so if you are squeamish do not watch this bit Okay. okay, here at Woods Hole, you're supposed to store your stuff in here. So last night we got in a little late and I came over here to store my stuff. So this is what we find in here. See, 
if I get the same surprise that I got last night. Come up real close there so it'll show the inside. So if there's any I haven't seen it, so. You scurrying so. this morning? Last night this was filled with mice. Just absolutely filled with mice. And you can see all the trash and everything that is in here. It looks like the mice got themselves a little... There's no more mice in there. There's mice house. Oh, right oh there's there. one right there. He <laughs> popped out. He was sleeping. <laughs> Yep, that's their little sleeping. nest. Somebody what is just that? Better... somebody just ooh, oh, there's another one. See? Somebody just left their their trash in here. So just dumps all their trash in here, and so no one can and keep now mice live in here. Yep. So that is so really sad. I'm sure that's not through hikers doing this kind of thing because it's all cans and bottles and things like that. Things that through hikers wouldn't bring up, but. Uh, for any through hikers or section hikers coming up here, this is a woods hole, and we'll put something out far out about it. But yeah, this thing's just completely filled with trash and filled with mice. So, needless to say, the food bags didn't go in there. Yep. Yeah. And there's the uh, shelter. Good morning. We're just gonna. Uh, go through a recap of last night and then kind of what we're going to do today. We had a comment from an individual who said that might be helpful. So thought that probably would be helpful. So last night we got in here um, kind of late. We got dropped off at Gooch Gap. Yeah. Gooch Gap. Sure. Because uh, we, uh, we mismanaged our power and we used up two 10,000 milliamp battery banks. We were trying to download video while we were on the trail and that just did not work. So hence our new schedule going forward is probably just gonna be like one a week or whenever we happen to get into town. So our shuttle driver, why don't you tell them? Uh, yeah, we, I contacted someone from Facebook and I was given a number for Brett. His business name is AT Hiker Shuttle Services. He picked, it up, picked us up from Gooch Gap and dropped us off the next day. Really great guy. Super nice guy and he's a through hiker too. So if you get into into that area and need a ride into town, I wouldn't hesitate calling him. He's got a lot of um, good information about the trail, about his time when he hiked the trail, and great information about this area here. So, but moving on to last night when we got in, I checked the weather for this area and it was supposed to be uh, windy it wasn't cold and rainy so I made the decision hey we probably just sleep in our sleeping bags and not use our vapor barrier or our bivy bag and we hung up all our clothes here in the shelter um, no mice by the way which was really nice except for the ones over there in the food box um, we hung up our everything, our clothes here in the shelter that we were wearing, you know, presumably let them dry out a little bit and left our bags open and just slept in our sleeping bags. And we, uh, we slept, we slept great. Yep. Woke up this morning though and everything was drenched. I mean, just soaking wet because this mist just moved in and just gets on everything. Um, I don't have any experience with that. So that was brand new for me. I was prepared for the cold, but the uh, the wet mist, it just, we, I don't have a whole lot of this. We don't. So it soaked the bag, it soaked, uh, soaked our clothes. Uh, we're just gonna walk these clothes dry. And, um, and then now we have to go back down again and find another laundromat somewhere so I can uh, dry out this bag, our bags, at least our bags. And um, from now on, we'll just be using the, the vapor barrier and the uh, baby bag to try to prevent any, any more of those problems. And everything else, we're just gonna have to keep closed up and sealed inside there, because uh, I don't know how often this happens here in the winter in Georgia, but I'm not gonna take that chance again, so. It's fascinating though. Just, yeah. I love the mist. Yeah, it gets everything wet. Physically though, we're doing really good. I have a couple of blisters on my toes. Um, my knee, my right knee was bothering me. 
really bad last night on our way here. I started to worry about it, but <clears throat> feels good this morning. Feels like I could hike some more trails today. So, so we're gonna hike to Neil's Gap, and from there we're gonna go uh, try to find a laundromat. Probably stay the night somewhere. I'll let Mila figure out all those um, logistics. <clears throat> And uh, that's about it. And we'll try to get some trail uh, video of the trail going up Blood Mountain. See you guys later.